Hi, this is Sven Kaderla and if you want to sell photos in stock, I'll help you how to get started in today's video. So what is stock photography? Companies such as Shutterstock, iStock, Photolia offer a huge database of photos which anybody can license for their creative use. So the photographer takes photo, uploads it to the agency, the agency sells the photo and the photographer earns a small commission somewhere between 38 cents to $15 per photo depending on the license used. So if you don't like selling photos on your own, you know, chasing companies, trying to get the deals and begging magazines to publish your photos, this might be actually perfect for you. Step by step, before you open an account, you have to decide if you want to become an exclusive photographer or non-exclusive. To help you a little bit with the decision, let's look at some benefits of being an exclusive photographer. First of all, you've got higher royalties, higher upload limits, faster reviewing times so you don't have to sometimes wait you know 24 to 48 hours to see the images being approved on online better position in search engines better legal protection by the agency image collections with exclusive photos only and some special programs and because to everything there are good things and bad things let's look at some downsides of being an exclusive photographer first of all your images are going to be selling for higher prices um, you cannot sell images anywhere else, sometimes not even on your website. You cannot offer your images for free and you cannot sell rejected images anywhere else. So it is up to you to decide. I actually personally know some photographers which are exclusive photographers on um, iStock or Shutterstock and they are doing quite well. Okay, for me, myself, I'm actually a non-exclusive contributor just because um, I like to spread my images to many different agencies just in case one of them close down uh, completely or they go down. That way I'm still having an income with the other agencies because stock agency is majority um, of income for me right now and I simply don't like putting all eggs in one basket. So if you already made a decision, great, if you're still working on it, Take your time and make a wise decision because this is how it's gonna be for a very long time. Uh, meanwhile, here's a list of top five stock agencies where actually you can sell your photos. This list is based on my experience shooting stock since 2007. The biggest agency is Shutterstock, that's number one. Number two would be Fotolia, they do very well for me as well. Number three, definitely iStock. Number four, one, two, three, royalty free. These guys are selling for me pretty well too. And number five is Dreamstein. And you know, to make your life a little bit easier, if you look at the video description below, I actually included links to those agencies I mentioned below. And I also included URL links for you uh, directly leading to their sign up pages. So when, for example, you're looking at Shutterstock Become Contributor page, they have all the information on their website beautifully set up. Read carefully all of it, especially submission and accounts guidelines. Once you are ready to sign up, you will have to provide your name, your email address, your physical address. Uh, also document to confirm your identity and country of residence. After that, you will have to add 10 photos for your first initial approval. The 10 photos you will be submitting and any other photos you will be submitting to stock uh, must be in JPEG or TIFF format and they have to be at least four megapixels or larger. Um, you will have to add metadata to the images such as photo description or also keywords obviously related to that image. If you are taking photos of a person, you must include model release. And technically, the images cannot have any noise, they can't have any composition issues, they cannot be over filtered or weighed too sharp, and their white balance should be pretty good. 
And you know, it takes a while for the photos to be approved, so just be patient. You know, it might take a day or two, but they'll get back to you for sure. So once you get an email, you will either get acceptance email or you will get email where they say, well, the photos have been rejected because you had too much noise, there was a white balance off or something like that. So you will learn from it. Once your photos have been approved, they will be placed in your portfolio. So that's it for today's video and I really hope you liked it. Um, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because there will be a lot more about the stock. I'm gonna return to shooting to these tomatoes. Uh, if you have any questions and comments or requests on a special videos, I'll be glad to do it. Uh, just write it in the comments below, please. And I'll see you next time again. See you next week. Ciao, ahoy.